For me, walking through that as a grandchild of David Green, is I got to see someone kind of put his feet where what he, with what he said. He was walking what he was talking in a very tangible way. Um, and then thinking through the fact that my grandparents have, have built Hobby Lobby, and yet they were willing to let it all go in order to be obedient to God and trust Him with it. There's also a massive amount of trust um, that they had to, to really show during that time. I, I saw my parents, my aunts and uncles, and my grandparents um, show an amazing amount of trust in God's provision for their lives and provision for people that they cared for um, at Hobby Lobby. I think what was really significant about some of these pivotal moments in the family's journey uh, was the amount of peace and steady hands that were at play on a daily basis. Uh, even through some of the most challenging parts, there was really a sense of, let's just continue to do our job on a daily basis. Uh, do, let's just continue to do our best and let's lean into Him as we go through this journey. It began in the fall of 2014 with our family all gathering together. My grandpa called together a meeting and wanted all three generations present. And we all sat around and talked about what the situation was with the Obamacare mandate. And we had to decide what we were going to do, if we were going to go against our faith and provide some abortifacient drugs, drugs and devices that we didn't agree with, or if we were going to say, no, we had to be willing to put our faith first no matter what the cost. And I'll never forget that night, because as all, all, you know, almost 20 of us were sitting together, we each shared and talked about what our thoughts were about the situation and how we should move forward. And I remember wondering if we would all end up on the same page. You know, there were so many of us across three generations. Would we all have the same view of how we should move forward? But we spent so much time in prayer and, and looking at scripture and going over our family values. It really made a difference when it came time to the hard, hard time of making a big decision that we were all in unity on in the end. So that was a really pivotal time where we got to see how significant it was that my grandparents, parents, aunts, and uncles had been intentional before the hard times came to really put down on paper, this is what we value and this is what we're gonna stick with.